guys, what's up? I'm on Narts here. Uh, this is a little quick tutorial on how to change the access point in Cinema 4D. It's not anything big, but it's a little bit of uh, tips and tricks if you guys encountered this problem. And before I explain what the problem is and really get into it and start the tutorial, I just want to really quickly say that sorry I've made a video or a tutorial in a little bit. And also, uh, for everyone who needs an intro, sorry the intro hasn't been up yet, but as I say in almost every video, it's hard to coordinate me and my uh, the, the other person who's in um, on Arts to be on at the same time because I do mostly Cinema 4D and he does mostly Adobe and we have to send the files to each other. If I have the files done he's not online or he's ready to work and I'm not online then we have problems and we've both been pretty busy recently with other non- Cinema 4D stuff. So just be patient, guys. I have about five intros done in Cinema 4D, just waiting to put the finishing touches on in Adobe After Effects. So, enough of that. Let's get into the tutorial. So, what the axis point is, it's the center point, which is pretty much used when text is being rotated. So, I'll show you what the problem is. Say, add some text. You don't have to repeat this, but I'm just showing you as an example. I'm not even going to change anything about the text because that's not really the point. But say you want to start at zero and then you want it to do a little circle at, and, and that takes 40 frames. Say you rotate it like that and then so it's 360 degrees. Hopefully you guys can see the problem that it doesn't rotate in the center and it rotates from the bottom. Like there's a little uh, like the axis just imagine there's a big line that it's spinning from the bottom because that's what it's doing and you can see where the axis is the axis point is right here and it's at the bottom and you don't want it to be there you want it to be in the center but since it, it it's not in the center in terms of vertically but in horizontally it is pretty much in the center if you know what I mean so I'll show you if you rotate it kind of a left to right 360 a right to left whatever um, forget about that but all I'm saying is that the axis point is at the bottom of the text and it's centered from left to right but it's not centered from top to bottom so I'll show you how to change that first what you're going to want to do it only works if you text I think it only works if you text is in a no object because I tried making this tutorial about an hour ago and it didn't work and I was wondering why and that's because I'm pretty sure your text needs to be in a null object so right click on your text and click group objects and that puts it in a null object and then uh, if you get rid of the keyframes from the text object just highlight them click and drag and highlight and then delete and then so you just have a regular animation so now click on your text in your null click on your null object. Hopefully, uh, you can pause the video right here to make one if you haven't made one yet. And as one you guys are done with that, click on your null object, click uh, the starting frame which is zero, and then the ending frame which can be about forty. And once you're on forty, the way the change to axis point is you click this little tool right here. It's a arrow going up and then an arrow going to the right, all in purple. I mean all in orange and it's right there it's on the left so click on that and now all you have to do is drag up and drag to the middle and you're pretty much changing the axis point once you've done that you're going to want to press return because that kind of saves it and then go to frame 40 on your timeline and you can do a little rotation like a 360 not perfect 360 but whatever and now you can see the axis point is perfect because it rotates from the center I know a couple people have asked me that before saying that my text doesn't rotate correctly so hopefully that answers some of you guys questions about how to change the axis point so it gets a better more realistic looking rotation and yeah, guys, that's the tutorial. Little tips and tricks. Please subscribe, guys. Thanks.